Today, I'm going to make brownies or some sort of chocolate thing. And I have the perfect example of going from using fractions. I have a half cup here, and I need one and a half cups of milk. So I'm thinking to myself, how many of these do I need? Well, if I need one and a half, I'm going to change it to an improper fraction, right? But I can only use half cups, right? So if I know I have one half, I know it takes two half cups to get one cup, and I need one more. So then I think to myself, I actually need three half cups to have one and a half cups of milk. So there, I went from a mixed fraction to an improper fraction, right? One and a half cups of milk, but I need three of these, so that's three over two. Mixed fraction to improper fraction, and then I will have some really good brownies. Hi again, Miss Mikhail is here joining us. After I did the milk, I realized that I need to use sugar. I still have the same half measuring cup that I used when I did the milk, but now what my problem is, is I actually need three fourths cup of sugar. But since I don't have a fourth cup, I realize I have to use a half. So how do I use that? Hmm. So what I decided to do was using equivalent fractions, I know that my one half is actually two fourths. So she's going to go and write our equivalent fraction. One half, the equivalent fraction <laughs> this isn't right. is two fourths. <laughs> it's two fourths. <laughs> two fourths. Okay. So now I have half, it's my little image here, but I still need one more quarter. So, I know, even just from my diagram here, that one quarter is half of a half. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do one half cup, and then half of a half cup. So with my sugar, I'll do one half cup, and then I'm just going to kind of eyeball it a little, and then do half of one half, right? Because I know that half of that half of one half is actually one fourth. And there I go, I solved my problem. I don't have a fourth, but I have a half, so I can use that for my sugar. These are the wonderful brownies that we've made using our math equations of equivalent fractions and changing a mixed number into improper fractions. So I'm going to enjoy this with some ice cream.